Welcome back, my geeks and my peeps. How you guys doing? I know it's been a little bit since you guys seen me. I've actually been upgrading, so now you are here tuning into the Everyday Person Geek 2.0, and I'm Ben, the Every Person Geek. So I wind up getting a new microphone, new laptop, new camera, um, so the, some cam, uh, cam link uh, card for the camera. Uh, game capture card from Elgato, both for, from uh, El Elgato for the PS5. Just realized I didn't like the way the PS5 streaming was for YouTube, so I decided to get the game capture card, and I'm gonna start using that for that type of stuff. Um, yeah, so I'm I'm I'm, I'm 2.0 now. <laughs> it's very weird to have like the other mic was just all the way down here, and I couldn't really do that much with it. But this one is actually uh, a pretty nice one. I got off of Amazon for close to like 70 bucks. It, it was a uh, Finfan, Finfanning, something like that. Um, I'm sure you guys can find it on there. My new camera is a Sony ZV-1. Um, works pretty well. I had to do a lot to try to get it all configured and working it out. The laptop is an HP Pavilion. Um, it's got the NVIDIA GeForce GTX uh, 1650 Ti in it. So that's the graphics card. So And I wound up getting a 3.0 USB adapter, uh, multi-port adapter. Um, yeah, so like I'm all rigged out now. <laughs> if you guys have any questions on any of these uh, things, the laptop, the, uh, the, Z, uh, the Sony camera, or the microphone just let me know because like i said i've been spending all week trying to figure out how to get everything hooked up and operated and also just to let you guys know um if you do have any elgato equipment um if you're having issues with those elgato equipment i would go ahead and download the obs studio from online um that's how i was able to actually finally get everything working for me was by going through the OBS studio. So thankfully I got it to work and everything's working good. So let's talk about what I wanted to talk about today. Well, actually I wanted to talk about it last week, but I wanted to upgrade. Um, what I wanted to talk about was Spider-Man. All right, Spider-Man's a very uh, good character, came out in 1962, uh, has had many TV, uh, well, he had the one t uh, late seventies TV show live action, which was you know very um, Adam West Batman esque, uh, with the whole you know pretending they're climbing up the wall and you know it's you know just camera angle and stuff like that. Uh, you had a uh, plenty of cartoons all throughout the seventies, eighties, nineties, two thousands. A lot of them have always centered around somewhat the same storyline, except for the more recent ones. Which they are more delving into, um, what's it called? More delving into the Ultimate Comics. I don't know if you're familiar with those. Um, that's the, those actually got started out by Brian Bendis, which is a writer for uh, the comics. Um, I actually enjoy the Ultimate versions of the different characters. So, I don't know, just take a look. But... Again, yeah, beside my point, the whole reason why I wanted to show off today was because I have a statue that I've had for quite a while. Uh, again, it's a Diamond Select statue. Um, this statue right here is from Infinity War. Okay, um, Basically, you got the Tom Holland Iron Spider, Okay, which is this guy right here. Um, me personally, I think again, the definition in it, the, the detail rather is actually quite good. Um, I like how they have like the different planet that he was on, uh, type of base for it. Uh, I also like the way they have his, um, uh, legs, the extra legs, I guess they call it hands, legs, whatever the spider tentacles are <laughs> um no but i i do like how they have these i mean especially this one's like right up against his his leg right here and i'm going to give you guys a close-up of all this and as i'm talking about it um i like the suit that they did for him in the movie i think they did that quite well um yeah just trying to get that 
pointed to you guys. Um, I think it was actually a pretty good movie. Hey, wait, hold on. Sorry, guys. I got this guy, Kenobi. Yeah, yeah. Obi Wan Kenobi. He is one of my, you know, cats. I have three. Um, but yeah, he's searching for some attention right now. But anyway, um, <sighs> hair. Um, so the Spider-Man statue I got uh, from Amazon, it was about $49.99, I believe, when I first bought it, or around 42, between $42 and $50. Uh, right now, I believe it's going on Amazon for about $150. Um, it's, again, as you guys are seeing right now, it's a very detailed statue. Uh, I like the pose that he's in on it. Um, It really captured for to me for the, for the amount that I spent and for the detail that's involved in the statue. I think it does capture the Tom Holland Spider Man pretty well. Um, so yeah, I mean that that was that was one of the good statues, you know. So that's one of the ones I enjoyed and one of the ones that I think they did really well. Um, another thing is this is the box that it came in. Yes, it's a rather large box. Um, you can see right here in the back, they got the whole description boxes, pretty good. I mean, their boxes are usually very good to, to like maintain and, you know, they're, they're not too flimsy or anything else like that. And as I said before, on the bottom of these boxes, they got the licensed product thing that I showed you guys in my last video for, uh, my Superman. So it, that, it's pretty good to just go ahead and like either mail it in or try to see what other kind of statues they have available through that. Um, and like I said, I've had this statue for quite a while and I kind of, uh, kept, I keep the boxes. Ooh, that's, that was loud. Sorry. Ooh. Um, I keep the boxes and you know, I, I, I like them. I, I do. I like, I like holding on to the boxes. So that's that box right there. I might bring it up a little bit later. Um, so there are other Spider-Man statues out there that you could probably get. And like I said, some of them are from um, Iron Studios or Sideshow Collectibles. One of the other ones that were really good is, is not, it's another Iron, um, Iron Spider. This one is from, um, I'm, I'm sorry, not another Iron Spider. Uh, I forgot to say that Big, uh, big, bad, big Bad Toy Store actually has this statue available well what it's in there for pre-order they said that they sold out i don't know you could check it out i have the link below you can check it out see if it's still available or not um the pre-order for them is uh, 45 dollars. so you guys could check it out and see if that that would be a good pre-order for you guys if they have it available again at the time of me making this video um one of the Iron Studio statues that I think looks really cool, and it's pretty pricey, um, is in the, uh, the Spider-Man Far From Home with, again, Iron Studios. Um, it's hand-painted uh, black and red, his black and red costume, which is actually pretty cool. And if you guys look at the, um, the base behind him a little bit it actually has a led lighting effect uh which i think is pretty badass um it kind of it, it's it's the base is based off of uh mysterio's like allude 3d illusions and stuff like that so i think the led uh combination is actually really cool and really like awesome to put in there um so, and this one is actually priced out at a thousand dollars. So yeah. And it's, it's a 23 inch, you know, statue. So it's, it's, it's a good size, you know, for the money that you're going to be paying. But again, you're going to be paying a thousand dollars, you know what I mean? So yeah, it, it's a good, it's a good, uh, it's a good statue. And again, I, I think the led lighting is actually pretty cool. Um, another one is the, it's another one from, uh, far from home. Um, Iron Studios, it's the uh, it's a battle it's in a, bleh. it's from a battle diorama series. Um, again, this one is hand painted. Also, um, this one isn't as expensive as 
the previous one. This one is, is only about around 120, which again, isn't that bad. Um, it's actually pretty good for the, from Iron Studios being 120, you know. Um, I do like how he is in the middle of like doing the thwip movement, you know, and kind of arched out and it kind of looks like he's about to like swing away or he's like in the middle of attacking or something like that. So I think it is a, a pretty stylish statue, uh, has a lot going for it. Um, it's very sleek, uh, and it could be set up, <clears throat> excuse me, it could be set up on a nice shelf, you know, kind of high up, you know, to where it's, it, it kind of looks good on there. Um, so that that one again is from Iron Studios, and again, guys, I'm gonna have all the links down in my in my description. So if you guys are interested in taking a look at any of these statues, maybe uh, again, continuing or starting your own uh, statue collection, you could definitely go hop on there and do that. Um, another statue. This one is actually from Sideshow Collectibles. It's the classic blue and red suit. Um, again, again, he's doing the same, uh, th thwip, you know, movement and everything. But the cool thing about this one is he's actually fighting Dr. Octopus's ten tentacles. And if you look in the background, he's actually got one snared in his webbing, which I think is actually really cool to, to have like that. Um, and if you look at the detail of the base, you'll see that one of Doc Ox, um, Tentacles is actually going through the uh, computer monitor, you know, so I think that the detail in these statues are actually, I, I, I think phenomenal. And this one is going for, um, 625. So again, a little bit more on the expensive side. Um, but there's a lot of detail in it. A lot of, um, craftsmanship went into it. So um, again, I think that, you know, side so, uh, Sideshow Collectibles has done a good job on um, getting a good uh, statue out there with this one. Um, next one is kind of a collaboration between Sideshow and Iron Studios, I believe. I'm not positive because... Uh, in one of the photos, uh, you'll see that it says Iron Studios, but it's, you know, I found it on the Sideshow Collectibles website. So I don't know if, you know, they just thought it was really awesome and they wanted to sell it. I have no idea. But it's actually a really cool um, Spider-Man statue. It's going off of uh, the Peter Parker of uh, the Spider-Verse, uh, Into the Spider-Verse uh, movie that they, uh, animated movie that Sony came out with. Uh, uh, revolving around Miles Morales, which is uh, it was actually a really cool movie. I actually really enjoyed it. I like how they took it, um, added in the whole parallel universes and stuff like that. Um, I like the fact that this one has an alternate head for the Spider Man statue. I like how the colors are real vibrant and it almost looks very cartoonish. Um, I think they did a really good job on just like how, how color, colorful it is. Um, this is also part of a collection for the Spider-Verse. Um, you can get the, you know, the Noir, the, uh, the one with the robot, Spider-Ham, um, Spider-Gwen, uh, Miles Morales, you know, so they, it's all part of a collection. This one isn't too bad with, um... The pricing this is about 125 which is actually pretty good um again th that's not too expensive um again sometimes it might be out of your the piece on people's um price range but it you know it, it's a good statue uh maybe save up for it um next one i want to talk about is the um spider-man um advanced suit which is actually um from the video game marvel's spider-man which is exclusively for the playstation you can get the ps4 version now and upgrade for f no 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 you can't upgrade for free for free to the ps5 version because that's part of the My miles morales's ps5 so but 
either way, you can get it on the PS4 exclusively. Um, the game itself was really good. The statue I really like. Um, it's a, a scene against the uh, battle against Mr. Negative. Um, you're seeing my big fat cat Dobby coming across the screen right now. <laughs> Dobby is named after uh, Dobby from Harry Potter. Um, gotta love the guy. Come here. Over here. Come on. No? No? You just want to be on camera. Okay. That works. There he goes. All right. <laughs> so the base is uh, the Spider-Man in his white, red, and blue suit uh, fighting Mr. Negative. And that's what that base is on that statue, which is actually really cool. Um, it, it, it's, I think it's one of the nicer, um, statues that they have available. And this one guys is going for $1,100 on sideshow. Yes. $1,100. I, again, again, if this takes off, yeah, maybe I'll be spending that type of money on this stuff, but uh, to show you guys and everything, but I just really can't see spending $1,100 right now on a statue. No matter how awesome it is, I just can't see it. But that actually leads me into the other statue that I have. Don't want to drop them. Which is my Collector's Edition Spider -Man, Marvel Spider-Man video game um, statue. Now this came in the Collector's Edition of the Spider-Man video game. It's got the advanced suit sitting on top of the Sinister Six, which is basically uh, Doc Ock, Vulture, Electro, Rhino, um, Scorpion, and Mr. Negative in this video game. Okay, um, I think they did a lot of great detail in this, especially with the base. I think you could see basically every one of the Sinister Six, especially I like it, especially how his hand is sitting on top of the Rhino's head. And again, you guys are going to get a little bit closer of a, a video of this one in a few moments. Um, there we go. Uh, so yeah, that statue is really cool because uh, you could see the scorpion's tail wrapping around it. You could see Doc Ock's uh, tentacles. Uh, again, you you'll see. Um, What's his name? I, I just said it. Rhino's head, uh, Vulture's wings on the bottom, Electro's um, vest, and Mr. Negative is in there somewhere. Not exactly sure because I haven't really delved that much into it. But um, yeah, he's in there too. Um, I think they did, like I said, I think they did an awesome job with this statue. Um, I have to say thank you to my wife for getting me the collector's edition of the Spider-Man video game because I was sitting there trying to find it on eBay and I was trying to find it on Best Buy and, and GameStop and I just couldn't find it. Here, somehow, someway, she found it and got it for me and I, I really appreciate her. I, um, I couldn't ask for a better woman. Uh, she's, um, so that's, you know, that's a great statue right there and, you know, I'm sure you guys... Um, you probably can find it on eBay. Um, I don't know exactly how much they're going for, depending on who's trying to sell it. And, you know, how I believe, I'm not sure exactly how many, um, how many, um, how many were made. But, I mean, it is still a good statue. And it stands about seven inches tall, just to give you guys a heads up about that. Um, my next Spider-Man thing that I have is actually... The Spider-Man Homecoming Pop, okay? I got this off of Fandango when I went to um, uh, go see Homecoming in the theaters. Uh, went on the Fandango app, bought the tickets, and this was part of the, you know, ticket thing. And again, you guys are going to take a look at it. It's Spider-Man in his homemade costume. Uh, before he got the, uh, the costume from Mr. Stark. Um, uh, I, I never take it out. I have never taken any of my pops out of their boxes. Um, just because of, you know, from being a kid, becoming an adult, seeing all those toys that I had as a kid being worth so much money out of their, you know, being inside their packaging. Just, you know, I just didn't want to 
uh, I just didn't want to do it. You know what I mean? So that's always good. Um, so let's talk about Spider-Man. All right. Spider-Man is a, to me, a pretty cool character. So when he, he was always like the nerdy, like bullied kid and everything else like that. And then all of a sudden he gets bit by a radioactive spider, you know, and he winds up having all these superpowers, you know, he's able to stick on walls. He's able to, you know, super agility, super, excuse me, super strength. And, you know, just like, just everything a teenage kid who's never felt quite like he fit in anywhere could ever ask for superpowers, you know? So that, that's what like a lot of people like. And I like the way that Stanley did that comic was, you know, when he first got his powers, he, you know, he wanted, he wanted some money, but you know, he didn't really care. And then his uncle Ben died. And then that's when he took on the whole philosophy of philosophy of with great power comes great responsibility. So with that, you know, he decided to start using his powers for, for the good of people and the good of mankind and the good of New York. Um, so with his powers, I mean, that comic, that comic is like, I, like I said earlier in the video, that comic has just like spawned so many different medias, media outlets. It was, you know, comics. Then it was, uh, the, the TV show, the cartoons, the movies, the, the movies that are out there right now. Um, oh, got a YouTube alert for PlayStation. Um, the, uh, the movies that are out there right now, you know, um, you got the Toby, Toby McGuire, Spider-Man, the Andrew Garfield Spider-Man, and now the Tom Holland Spider-Man, which there are so many rumors going around with this next, the Nowhere, No, uh, no Way Home movie. I just saw uh, another rumor that um, Keanu Reeves might play Craven. How badass would that be if that was actually true? I mean, come on, come on. Um, on my Instagram, I actually, uh, just put in my story and I'm going to actually, uh, um, put the photo of it. I'm not going to put it here because it's copyrighted and stuff like that. I don't know. I'm just starting out. I don't need my videos taken down right away. Um, but yeah, so, uh, you know what? Screw it. Here it is right here. All right. That's it. The guy's got credit in the bottom. So there you go. Um, but look at, look at that. I mean, it looks pretty badass, right? I mean, I think that would be actually kind of cool to see him play the the, the, the play Craven. Um, I haven't seen. I mean, is it official, guys? Let me know. Is it official that Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield are going to be in this movie? Because if they are, that's going to be badass. I again, I think they're going to be throwing a lot of shit into this movie. You know, what I mean, sort of like what they did to Spider Man Three with Tobey Maguire, but it is what it is. Um, for me, out of all three actors, this is how I would rate them. Tobey Maguire, uh, Tom Holland, and then Andrew Garfield. Um, I just really liked Tobey Maguire as Spider-Man, except for the third one. Everybody knows the emo dance was wrong. Should never have done the emo dance. Never, ever, ever. That was just... No, 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 no. Shame on you, Toby, for letting that happen. <laughs> no, but um, I think that, you know, other than the last movie for, for him, they, they were actually really good, and I actually really enjoyed them. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing Far From Home, uh, No Way Home. Um, I liked the first two movies. I like him, Tom Holland, in the uh, MCU. Uh, I hope that they keep using him and Sony and them have, like, keep their deal up, especially with uh, Sony allowing the previous Spider-Man movies to be on Disney+, Plus, which is awesome. Um, I don't know how many times uh, when the Tobey Maguire movie would first come out, um, I'm the type of person that sleeps with the TV on and I set the sleep timer and I go to sleep that way. And I'll usually put on something that I've seen a million times. Well, 
Spider-Man and Spider-Man 2 were one of those two of those movies that I used to put on all the time and just like doze off to because I've seen it so many times I knew what was going on. Um, but yeah, um, I, I really enjoyed the uh, the Tom Holland ones and I am glad that Sony and Disney were able to come to that agreement to keep him in the movies. I hope they continue the uh, collaboration. Uh, I, I I don't want it to go away uh, <laughs> because I just think it, that they did a really good job, you know. So, yeah, I mean, this is Spider-Man. This is who he is. This is, um, oh, and another, a lot of other characters spawn out of the Spider-Man comic. Um, Venom, Carnage, um, Punisher. Um, he, Spider-Man's always teaming up with characters like, that like the Punisher or Daredevil or the Fantastic Four. Matter of fact, he was on the Fantastic Four's teams for a team for a little while. So, I mean, he really was a good uh, introduction, uh, introductory character for other characters. You know, um, just because he is friendly too. You know, yeah, he, he's your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. All right. So with that, guys, I will bid you adieu. Um, I, again, like the fact that you guys have been tuning in. Um, I'm at 42 subscribers right now, and I'm hoping to get more and more and more. Come on, guys. I know my Superman unboxing is up to like 200 and something views. I love it. Thank you. I, I appreciate all of you so much for tuning in watching my videos, you know, commenting on them, liking them, subscribing. You guys, that really means a lot to me. And I hope with, you know, my new setup, you know, I'm going to get a little bit better of a quality for you guys and be able to um, give you guys a phenomenal experience because you guys are giving me the chance to, you know, live out a dream, you know, to be able to talk about the things I love to a lot of people out there. All right. So I appreciate you guys. I really do. Um, you guys are awesome. And maybe eventually if I start getting, you know, if I can get up there and subscribers and stuff like that, maybe I'll start trying to like figure out some giveaways or something like that because, um, I get those, uh, we'll see what we could f figure out. <laughs> I don't want to say anything yet because I got to see if it's legal for me to do it. Um, but I appreciate you. I appreciate it. Well, wait, not like sketchy legal. I'm just talking about like video giveaway video stuff legal. Not hey, shame on you, dirty minds. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for for watching and thank you for subscribing, liking, commenting. Uh, if you haven't yet, like, comment, subscribe. Thank you and. May the odds ever be in your favor.